Today, at Forest Ward Memorial School, we will be reading David Silver Dollar. It's written by Elizabeth Briggs Squires. On David's fifth birthday, David's father gave him a round, shiny silver dollar. He was to buy something that he wanted more than anything else in the world. David thought about the dollar for a long time. He thought, and he thought, but he couldn't decide what he wanted to buy more than anything else. One day when Mother was going downtown, David asked, Mother, will you take me with you so I can go to the toy shop? There might be something I would like more than anything else. Why, yes, David, said Mother. How would you like to make it a real treat and have our lunch at a restaurant? That was a treat. David liked to have lunch in restaurants. Mother always let him order his lunch all by himself. So Mother and David went downtown to the bus. David had milk and peanut butter sandwiches for lunch. They tasted so good. And then he had chocolate ice cream for dessert. They tasted even better. After lunch, they went to the toy shop. David had his dollar in his pocket. He kept his hand in his pocket too so the dollar couldn't get out until he was ready to spend it. There were so many things to see in the toy shop. All the shelves and the counters were full of things that boys and girls like. There were so, so many things to see. What would you buy at the toy shop? Hmm? Don't know? Maybe we'll find out what he's going to buy. There was a fine set of tin soldiers with shiny painted uniforms. Some of them even had guns on their shoulders. But David said, that's not what I want most. There were lots of books. Some of them were color books with crayons and paints. But David had a color book at home with paints. It had pictures of wild animals. So David said, that's not the book I want most. Next. They looked at wagons, and tricycles, and scooters. There were some wonderful ones painted red and blue. Some had bells that went ting-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, and some had horns that went ooga, ooga. But David said, I have a scooter and Billy has a wagon. That's not what I want most. But that, by that time, they looked so long, they took so long that Mother said, David, it's time to go home. What do you say we just take that dollar home? You can keep it until you find something that you want more than anything else. So they went home. January went by. David had fun playing in the snow with Billy and Jimmy. They built a snowman and put pieces of coal for eyes and noses and mouth. But David didn't spend his dollar that month. February went by. David went to Billy's birthday party. He had ice cream in the shape of hearts. He thought about the dollar, but still, he couldn't think what he wanted most. So he didn't spend the dollar that month. March came, and Father took David out one day to fly kites. The wind blew and blew, and the kites flew higher and higher. Father and David had lots of fun, but David didn't spend his dollar that month. April came, and David played April Fool's jokes on Mother and Father and Martha the cook. He put sugar in the salt shakers. Father shook the salt shaker and shook sugar all over his plate. David laughed, and so did Mother and Father, but David didn't spend his dollar that month. May came. David wanted to make a May basket for Mother. Oh, thought David, what a big basket of flowers I could get for my round, shiny silver dollar. But then 
He heard Mother say, Of all the flowers that grow, I like the wild ones the best. They are the first to come because they can tell us that spring is here. So David just picked some purple violets. White violets and some pink flowers. He filled a little basket and hung it on the door. So you see, he didn't spend his round, shiny silver dollar that month. In June, Mother and David packed their clothes and some of David's toys. They went to the farm to visit Grandmother, who lived in the country. They were going to stay all summer. David showed Grandmother his big, round, shiny silver dollar. I can't think what I want more than anything else, he told Grandmother. Grandmother laughed and said, I guess it won't hurt that dollar to keep it for a while longer, Davy boy. One day, David was playing train on the side porch. He was using egg crates for the freight cars. Ralph, the hired man, came from the barn. Dave, he said, I'm going to the village. Do you know any fellows around here who might like to go with me? David jumped up. Sure, I'd like to go with you. Wait, wait, will you wait till I get my dollar? Maybe I'll see something I want to buy. David always liked to take his big, round, shiny silver dollar with him when he went to town. He thought that sometime there might be something that he wanted more than anything else. When they got to town, Ralph went into the post office. David went into Mr. Todd's store. But there was just the same old rope and pails and lanterns and tobacco. Mr. Todd gave David a handful of red and white peppermints, but there wasn't anything that David wanted more than anything else in the world. On the way home, David was riding on Ralph's back. He was eating peppermints. Ralph, he said, I think I'd like a horse. Takes a lot more than a dollar to buy a horse, said Ralph. He put David down just then. He began to talk to a young lady. She was inside a fence hanging up clothes. through the gate, he began to run around the yard to see what he could see. There, under some bushes, he saw a big box. It was tipped on its side. David thought, there is a good box to stand up and jump off. He stooped down to stand it up straight. What do you think he saw? The box was full of four little tiny puppy dogs. David sat down and just looked and looked. Presently, he put his hand in the box and patted one of the puppies. It was a black and white one. It was so soft and furry and warm. Its tail was so small that there wasn't, almost wasn't any tail at all. The mother dog came running to see who was looking at her babies. When she saw that David wasn't hurting them, she laid down and thumped her tail on the ground. David watched the puppies for a while. Then he went around to the front of the house. The young lady was still talking to Ralph. Do you think if I gave my, you my silver dollar, I could have one of the puppies? asked David. I, it's just what I want more than anything else in the whole world. Well, I'd say yeah, yes, laughed the young lady, but maybe you'd better go home and ask your mother first. David and Ralph went home as fast as they could. They found mother and grandmother sewing on the front porch. Mother, could I buy a puppy? It's what I want more than anything else in the whole world. I know where I can buy a real live puppy with my round, shiny silver dollar.
Of course, I think a puppy would be fun, said Mother. And Grandmother laughed and said, Land of goodness, who ever heard of a boy going on six years old who never had a puppy? So Mother and Grandmother and David got into the car. They went back to the house where the dogs lived. David gave the lady his round, shiny silver dollar. Then he picked out the dog he liked the best. It was a white one with a black eye. The one with a teeny, tiny little tail. On the way home, David sat on the floor of the car. He was holding his puppy. Davy boy, said Grandmother, what are you going to call your puppy? I don't know, said David. He's got, he'd forgotten all about puppies needing names. Suddenly he heard he had such a good idea that he shouted out loud, Dollar! That's what I'm going to call him. I bought him with my round, shiny, silver dollar. A puppy is just what I wanted more than anything else in the whole world, so I'll call him Dollar. Mother and Grandmother thought Dollar was a splendid name for a little dog. That night, David could hardly wait for Father to come from the city. He sat on the front steps waiting for a car to turn to the driveway. Pretty soon, one did, and Father jumped out. Ho, oh, said Father, what have we got here? David told him all about going to town and about the puppies. I like puppies, don't you? Mm -hmm. I want one. Yeah, yeah, puppies are fun, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They'll come wherever you want. Uh huh. I bought a puppy with my round, shiny silver dollar. His name is going to be Dollar. He's just what I wanted more than anything else in the whole world. And Dollar was so glad that he had a new home and a boy to play with that he nearly wriggled himself off the steps trying to wag his tiny little tail. Father picked up David and put him and Dollar too on his shoulder. Then they went to dinner. Hooray for David, shouted David's father, and for hooray for his dog, Dollar. And that ends our story for today. Thank you for joining us.